Hello folks, I'm Ryder Boost and in this brief video I will show how to download, install and later on also how to use Pressure Network PE catalog for EU market. So first of all, you do need to have Autodesk Civil 3D to be able to use it and if you go to apps.autodesk.com and log in with your Autodesk account, you should be able to download this content pack because it's free to use. This content pack has been updated to be used in Autodesk Civil 3D 2020 release, but also the installation for previous versions or any updates is similar. So after download, you should be able to see simple setup.exe file and from this file you can install the content pack. So I do a double click on this setup exam and then first of all I need to agree with the license terms, I accept the agreement, I hit next. Then really important part is coming up because by default this will be installed according to Civil 3D 2020 release and using a default pressure pipes catalog and also metric subfolder. No worries, it should not overwrite anything as long as you don't have anything named in a similar way like EU. But let's first take a look to this folder. So I copy it and then I just paste this path. And I can see that the default Civil 3D content is also available in here and we will add simply new content packs to this same location. Once again, you can install it to any location, even to network drive. But keep in mind that uh, this network drive should be accessible while you use that content. So I hit next. Of course, it will ask confirmation. Would I like to install to that folder? Yes, and install. Installation is quite quick because it will just copy content and once this installation is finished, you should see similar screen. And you can just close this dialog by hitting finish. Now let's take a look again to the same folder. And you should see that now we have two additional folders like water PE and water PE support files and also database file water PE 2020. Now those are the key files if you want to test the content. From support files, you can see license and readme. Also quantity takeoff definition file is added, which can be changed and used in your Civil 3D project. Also, you can find uninstallation, which will uninstall this content pack. And this can be also seen from apps menu. For example, if I search pressure network PE catalog, I can do uninstallation also from here. Okay, so that was about installation. This catalog has been updated for Civil 3D 2020 release. So I fire up my Civil 3D. If you want to test this content pack, then you first need to create a new drawing. And in this video, I prefer to start from scratch. So I hit C, new and drawing. I definitely want to select metric template file and for 2020 release. So please keep in mind that uh, you may need to update your previous template files that were created for previous versions. But I select this metric template file. I hit open. I close my another file, which I don't need actually. I save my drawing straight away, for example, to my desktop. And maybe this file is named like pressure network and demo save. Then, how to start using this catalog or how to test this catalog features? It is really a standard procedure, meaning that, first of all, you need to point to this new catalog. I go to Home, Create Design and Set Pressure Network Catalog. Now, Catalog folder. In here, I can see a default location, which I show you just a minute ago. If you install this to different location, you have to point to that location and from this location I can easily select my new catalog water PE 2020. I hit OK and again I save my drawing. Now the next step will be to go to settings and set up new parts list. So pressure network parts lists my current ones and right click and new. I give a name like water PE then I go to pressure pipes I right click new parts list add material 
and you see that uh, I may not see my current new list of new content. This is quite a common issue once you select new catalog and the easiest way what I have discovered is that uh, I simply close my drawing. Yes, I want to save it. I also close my CV3D. Quite commonly this is an issue once you redefine or point to new catalog. So I fire up my CV3D again. I open my previously saved drawing, pressure network. I simply check if I'm pointing to right catalog. So set pressure network catalog. Yes, it is correct. I hit console. I go now again to settings tab, pressure network, parts lists, right click and new. I give a new name like water PE. I go to pressure pipes, right click, add material and voila. Now I can see the correct list of new pipe materials. I select for example SDR11, I hit OK, I also right click, add size and add all sizes, OK. I can see now all my available diameters which are coming from real product data sheets. I go to fittings and right click here, add type and from the same subtype SDR11, for example I select elbow and maybe also T, I hit OK and I add sizes. Right click, add size, add all sizes, right click, add size, add all sizes. And now, of course, I can continue with appurtenances, but this time I will skip it. You can find a couple of appurtenances from this content pack as well. And keep in mind that you can always combine content from different content packs. I hit apply and OK, also saving my drawing. And if I want to check how to draw using this content pack, I simply go to pipe network and pressure network creation tools. I give a new name, maybe water PE demo. Parts list will be water PE. Again, I don't have a surface or alignment. It's a simple test how to start using it. So I hit OK. And now I have a new tab and I can select which pipe diameter I want to use. Maybe DN200. Pipes and bends. And also from here, DN200. I actually don't have to select it separately because once I start using this pipe, it should automatically add correct elbow or T. So I start using this tool, like drawing out my pipe. Yes, it's about 15 meters. So I left click and then I can see available angles, which are directly read from my parts lists, which obviously is coming from content pack. So maybe I just do a couple of turns and then escape to end the tool. Right now I can see my pipes as a center line, but I can easily select my pipe and change edit pressure pipe style. So display, I want to see again inside pipe walls, outside pipe walls and also center line. You can of course select what you want to see. I hit apply and OK and I can do the same with my fittings. So edit fitting style and also in here I can go to plan and display as catalog defined block, apply, OK. And now I have my 3D representation of that fitting and you can see also those parameters that are coming from the content pack. So if I select my pipe and right click I can check pressure pipe properties. I can go to part properties and see part data. So this data can be also reused in labels or takeouts. So you have some additional information. Also outside and inside pipe diameters that are coming directly from product data sheets. I hit console and also I can show you the same with a fitting. I select a fitting and fitting properties, part properties and from here I can see additional information. I hit console also in this dialog. So that was about how to start using Pressure Network Catalog, which can be downloaded from Autodesk App Store. And also from here you can find additional information, which content is included, what pipe sizes, fittings are included in this content pack. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like to see some more, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and you will be the first to get notifications about my new videos. Bye bye.